Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Bava, and we are mixing it up a bit tonight. Um, at least a little bit. And I'm going to do a Phantom M14 sealed event. That is, assuming three more people show up to fill the queue. But um, we got up to five pretty quickly, so hopefully we can get those last three and be on our way. And I feel like I was starting to get a handle on draft. Um, I've been doing pretty well there. I've got uh, three three O's in my last four drafts, so that's not uh, not too bad there. It's much better than the one twos I was getting at the beginning. Um, hopefully, I can translate some of that success into sealed. Um, I th think I'm probably a better drafter than I am a sealed player, but I am willing to give it a shot and see how things go. All right. Um, so let's get going here. All right, and everyone showed up to the party. And here we are. Uh -huh. All right, now I already see a Fire Shrieker and a Mutavolt, which we get to play. And the cool thing. It's just funny that we got three angelic accords. So say the cool thing about M14 is we can play two color sealed. Uh, much more challenging <clears throat> in Return to Raft and Go Block to do that. Um, Colonian Hydra is the good Hydra. Um, we get some sort of green red action going. Lots of root wallas. Uh, the oath isn't very good. A little bit of ramp there. <clears throat> Chandra's Phoenix. I didn't even know she was in M14. Well, that's sweet. Uh, Molten Birth goes awesome with Young Pyromancer. Not a whole lot of removal. We got one shock and one outrage. And. It's <clears throat> it whole dang thing. Um, a quag sickness and a life bane zombie in black. Probably not really worth moving over there. We're not putting a sacrifice deck together. One claustrophobia. Uh, blue's not really looking good. And white. It's not looking very good. I think we're probably in a red-green deck here. Let's put that together and see what it looks like. Uh, all right. So there's those. Um, Mystic Sliver Beast. Wild guesses and smelts. Nine, seven other. All right, so what do we have? We've got a first strike sliver. We got a predatory sliver. We take out the ground shaker sliver. I like curving up to five much more than trying to get up to seven. We could even take out the spore mounds. You have a much more creature focused deck. Um, Elvish Mystic, still some nice ramp. Lightning Talons and Trollhide and Fire Shrieker. 
Our good pressure. Yen Pyromancer is really not doing anything in here, is he? He's really good. <clears throat> Just a few, three spells that he's working on. Beautiful. Works kind of cool with Advocate of the Beast. I like that. But we could very well... Drop the Spore Mounds. They're a little underwhelming. That's Baloth, Rootwalla, Advocate Trollhead, Shrieker, Birth Phoenix, Talons, Talons, Raider, Worm, Sliver, Pyromancer, Bell Blast, Striking Sliver, Shock. Um, yeah, that would be our deck. Beautiful to land. When it needs to be, Mystic's a little bit of ramp. We're going up to 5, so I think 17 land is fine. We're a little heavy on 3 drops. Um, decks are going to have less removal in this format than they have in draft. So we're less likely to get two for one for these enchantments, which is pretty nice. Because they're all good enchantments, and the Fire Shrieker is pretty badass, too. Uh, Colonial Hydra, of course, is awesome. Whenever he attacks, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on each creature you control. Um, so Advocate of the Beast could work out with that guy a little bit. Nobody else is getting plus one, plus one counters. Uh, but that's okay. <clears throat> Double that. that can get pretty big pretty quickly. All right, so we'll do this uh, sort of gruel aggro deck here and see how things go. They want to give us eight and eight, huh? Let's see what we got. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 red. We might want to throw red into this dragon hatchling. Is there anything else worth bringing in here, really? Maybe a Lava Axe instead of a Dragon Hatchling? It's a tough choice. We got such crap for Flyers, though. But I don't want to take out the one we got. Um, we're not doing the Ingot or the Cauldron. It'd be fun to get the Cauldron going. with the Angelic Accords, but it's just too hard to put together, I think. It's pretty janky. Um, but it would be really funny to get that going off. But I don't think it's going to happen. It would be dead at that point, right? Alright, so I think 8 and eight's okay. Um, Need some double red at some point. Hey. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and do that. That's 17. Um, we'll hit submit. Let's see. It's possible I take out the Elvish Mystic and instead have a Verdant Haven. No. Dark Steel Ingot would be the best fixing, right? I don't need the ramp that much. People love that damn Mystic, though. It's better in draft than sealed. I don't know. We'll try it like this. Should give us a pretty good shot of getting the land we need. And we'll see how this works out. All right, well, I feel pretty good about this, but it's the ones I feel pretty good about that never do well. 
Uh, my last draft, I felt like my deck was going to be completely ridiculous, and it did surprisingly well. So I don't uh, don't trust that I really know what I'm doing all the time in that regard. But we'll see. I'll catch you guys in the first round. We'll see how this goes.